Hi, <laughs> I'm playing right now. How you doing? Thanks for watching. I want to talk about the Clem Institute CAD CAM Lab Kit by MySinger. I want to thank MySinger for providing such exceptional quality of burrs, and they're just a really good company. They have really nice people there, and they're a lot of fun to work with. They've been so supportive, and I love the quality of their instruments. What we tried to do was to put together a kit, though I've worked with them for years now, we just keep upgrading the kit. It's called the JK03 Lab Kit. I want to go through the various polishers and shapers that are on this lab kit so we know exactly how to optimize them. A flow objective that I like to use when I'm getting a ceramic ready to place in the mouth from the milling unit is to go in this order. Number one is we have to do our general shaping first. Whatever is needed, Hopefully with most of our CAD softwares today, we can get most of our shapes down into digital design. Once it's out of the milling unit, we have to go through a few steps just to get the job done. And we wanna make it very proficient so we can get a lot done with one burr. These pink diamond shapers are designed to not overheat your ceramic. And yet with some firm pressure, you can rapidly shape your ceramic without damaging your ceramic. There's different shapes. You have your wheel, you have a cylinder, and then you have a taper designed for more of a global shaping objective. There are three basic diamonds on this kit. One is a cylinder. It's the 882 cylinder. It's the larger diamond cylinder with a rounded end. My objective when applying surface texture is to go with the largest burr I can to get the job done. Then we have the 850. That's a little smaller burr for more refined texturing. And we have inverted centered diamond cone. The diamond burr that I use the most is the inverted cone centered diamond. This is used to refine posterior occlusal anatomy and for micro texturing anterior teeth. The objective behind surface texturing is use the largest burr you can and then work to the smaller burr for a specific purpose of texturing. And we have videos that go through those aspects of using these burrs. As far as the polishers go, we have a coarse polisher. If I were stuck on an island and I could only choose a few instruments to go with me or polishers, this would be one of them. It's a favorite. We can use it as a shaper and also as a polisher. The green is pre-glaze. I'm gonna say that one more time. The green is designed for pre-glaze. Then we have the medium polisher wheel. This is for after glaze. If the ceramics are polished too much before the glaze, the glaze can beat up on that ceramic like water on a wax car. So we have to be aware of that. The new addition to the JK03 kit are the twist polishers. They come in the green coarse, the medium blue, the fine pink, and the extra fine, which is the yellow. The secret about these twist polishers is how you use them. They're designed to form to your ceramic surface without removing your micro texture. That is profound. So they're basically a flexible polishing wheel. And the way we use them is around 15K RPM, and you want to use it like a feather on a cheek. In other words, when you place this on the ceramic, you want to barely feel any touching sensation. If you bear down on these things, they're not going to work as effectively, and they're going to wear out fairly fast. The other thing you want to pay attention to when you're using the twist is always polish away from the margins or any sharp areas. Otherwise, it's going to damage the twist. I like these twists for my final polishing of my ceramics, whether I glaze them or I polish them. A great way to control vitality on your ceramics is controlling how the light bounces. That's where these twist polishers come in so handy. It allows you to polish your ceramic without losing the microsurface texture, and you can highlight the smoother areas, and you can tone down the concave areas. Now that I've learned how to use the twist, 
I have found them to be one of my favorites. Thank you, My Singer, for providing this on our kit. It has come in so handy. A few more shapers and polishers on the kit will be the shaping wheels. So we have a small shaping well here that is used for recontouring incisal edges or opening up embrasures for aesthetics. We can use this in the mouth or we can use it prior to placing our ceramics in the mouth. We have a larger centered diamond wheel, which is for cutting off sprues and shaping. And not least, but last, the final polishing asset on our kit is a horse hair Robison wheel. And we want to thank all the horses who donate their hair for our polishing effects in the mouth. I do like a coarse one. When I'm using a diamond paste with a coarse wheel, when you use a low RPM with good torque on your handpiece, if you plunge the bristles into a central groove area, as you release, it's a plunge and release action. And on the occlusal table, as those coarse bristles are released from the surface, it will polish to the very depths of your grooves. And there you have it. Thank you, My Singer. We have other support videos on our site that will take each one of these shapers, diamonds, polishers, and it will demonstrate how to use them effectively for the purpose that you want, and that is so your ceramics look natural. Controlling the bounce of their light and the surface texture and how smooth they are is something really important to us, and we want to get there quickly by using the right support polishers and grinders. Thank you.